Welcome back. It's the year 3160 BC. The Babylonians have some dude that built an academy and are reaping the benefits. The question is will they successfully complete the Great Library? These barbarians are on my ass. They're going to have to fight me at the ends of the earth if they want a piece. You know what I really want is a worker. Um, seems like my people are ahead of the curve. Mm, making a break for it. Making a break for it. This is going to reveal iron on the map, which will give me some idea of where I'm going to settle in the future. Oh, they want it. Oh no, they are really hitting me hard. Uh, so one opportunity you have is that you can do nothing and heal. They'll rest and they'll gain a few hit points because they're, if they're in my territory, they'll gain a lot of hit points. If they're outside, they gain a little. But it should be enough to protect them against an attack. From the Brutes. Suleiman. Plus one visibility. I love that promotion. Hold the line. Research is flying, which is good. I think I'm going to take masonry so that my workers, which I will have in the future, ah, uh, the pantheon. Well, my religious pantheon is now available, and you can start your pantheon and gain. one of these abilities. I like God King a lot. But I also like Monument to the Gods. Especially on an easier difficulty like this. Because I like to build a lot of wonders. I'm going to take it. This isn't like a... Uh, I would say... I'm playing on Prince, which is kind of an easier difficulty, so... I'm going to try and build wonders and win diplomatically, I think. Embassy with Pedro, which means that I can now view his city. He can view mine. These guys... These guys... They're going to need to go home. They need to rest. Iron. It's a valuable resource. Exceedingly valuable resource. Look at all this iron. So my idea is to build a city here, maybe. Like right here, or here. I can get this. Jeez, maybe build a city right here. Wait, I guess here would be... If I build a city right here, I'd get all this citrus. And all this ivory. And that sugar. Right there. That's my city spot. Thing is, I'm being lackadaisical about build actually getting a city. 
because I'm going after uh oh shit I think it's time to rest up This is always a tough one. I never know. I, I, I don't know. Should I go full tradition? Should I go for the, the liberty and go for the... You can get a, a faster a worker. This gives me the temple. I may go just to build two cities. get archers oh no my cities become vulnerable this is bad this now you'll get to see firsthand what happens when barbarians come they enter and they destroy so my ex my valuable uh, see this is really bad. This guy's on a, getting pounded. This is what happens when you leave barbarians unchecked. Luck. And I get to find out more about barbarians. Great. Fortunately, it doesn't destroy. When they pillage, it just ruins it. Oh my god, they're trying to get away. This is one thing you can... Uh... One thing that you can forget to do, like, the game does allow you to... It tells you what needs to happen next. But I don't think this guy's going to survive. The barbarians are on him. But one thing that it won't make you do is fire from your city. For some reason, if you have a, a city can do a ranged attack within two spaces if a unit ever gets close. They're wonderfully defensive. But... It won't make you do it. You can you can end your turn without doing it, which kind of sucks. Oh, that was horrible. I'll accept your embassy. The spearmen were destroyed. Unfortunate they were valuable. I'm playing this like a fucking noob. I like to be kind of passive when I play. I love to be super diplomatic, leave my walls, my guard down, and get my stuff up really fast. So if somebody comes like right now with a couple of catapults, I, I would lose. But I bank on the fact that they're not going to come with a couple of catapults. It's on an easy enough difficulty. Could turn the difficulty up. Give it a go. Scout, the great defender. Research the wheel. Build some roads, row ads.
That's a good thing. Great library is a success. I will go for iron working. Get my worker. I'm going to purchase a worker. And I'm going to start on the Colossus. Og, og, og. Love the land at Elite. That'll get my food stores up there. Get the calendar built. You know, maybe I should be smart to build a settler. That's what I don't get. The computer is not smart enough to. Basically, when you build a settler, your city adds its food and its production together to create the settler. So, as you can see here, I have one and one one food, one production. Up here, I have two food. Either one of these is going to make that settler just as fast. But this one also gives me two gold. But the idiot computer doesn't know that or doesn't doesn't take that into account it will just give you that because it's more food that's why this screen and using these is so important to winning and really if you pay serious attention to this screen and then once you build other cities this screen every turn I mean it can get very time-consuming but that's kinda what the game is you can leap and ahead of the competition when you're paying attention to that stuff. Strike. I need to build, repair that thing. So these are the workers doing what they do. Pedro wants a friend. Get a camp. There we go. need to build an archer. He'll rest in the city. Uh, resting in the city gives you the most hit points. Resting in your own territory gives you the second most and resting outside of your territory gives you the least. Resting in someone else's territory when you're at war with them. Like I can't enter his territory unless I go to war with him or sign an open borders agreement. If I'm at war with him, resting inside of his territory is the, pretty much the same as resting outside in no man's land. Good lord, the barbarian onslaught. This is like a result of what happens if you don't kill the barbarian camps. This is awful. So what I'm gonna try and do is get the settler built and weasel over here to make a city right there. See if I can come up, come around, guard him with the scout and pop in and, and build. That would be majestic if I could pull that off.
All right, got my ivory. Clear the marsh. Go settlers. I wonder if I can make it. Oh, I really want that Colossus, it's so good. Bowman. There's just no way around it. So uh, this isn't gonna pan out so well. I feel like I need to retreat. Secure this sucks. Ah, oh, man. All right, sailing it is. Not that we really need to know how to sail, but sometimes I just research the lowest costing one, and I think that's a really bad technique. I'm not going to do that right from now on. Let's see if I can do it. Jeez, what a welcome receiving party. This is what I'm up against. Is there any way I'm gonna be able to, I, I just don't think so. But hey, it's fun, right? Run, 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 run away. Whoa. Ay, 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 ay. They call me a wonder whore.
Gotta, gotta kind of feel for that guy. Alright, these archers. I think they're going to be able to do it. I'll help out my friend. And here... I really want that Colossus. Alright, I have a farm built there. Oh my god. Just when you think you got it, these dudes appear. Swordsmen. They've upgraded. Mine the gold. Oh, fucking asshole. I guess I could build a city right here. Yeah, I'll put a city right in the middle there. Wow. A no joke. Da, 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 da. Here? I think I'll put it here. This is going to get cray. That's all I can say. It about to get real cray. I think I'm going to put a city down here now. That would be a wise move. Here. And build a shrine. Keep the religion gone. <sighs> you know, I would love to sell you my ivory. No. Nope. Not yet, sir. Not yet.
I think these three cities will be mighty defensible. See, this iron, what the fuck? I could build like right here. Maybe one right here and one right here. There's that wine. That's sad to miss that. I'm thinking kind of far ahead here. I don't know if it's really. I'll go after optics. It's not really uh, super usable right now, but in fact, it's probably a piss poor choice. Jeez, I've upgraded his his uh, visibility so far. I see pretty clearly what the fuck I'm up against. All right, Colossus, keep me moving. Get in there. Question is now, do I build a road or do I, oh, you know what? Stupid of me, but, but hey. No, that sucks. So that's my first trade route, my first trade ship, but there's no one to trade with. Not yet. Stonehenge. I'm just going after wonders with like very little uh, strategy. It's kind of silly. Got that extra ivory. I think right now is a case of not dealing with my surroundings. I'm surrounded by barbarians. It's foolish not to build military units. Maybe I'll see if I can clean them up with that guy. Pedro, I'd love to trade with you, sir. People don't like to trade their last one. I need to build roads.
Well, the future of Babylon hangs in the balance. Will they survive against these noobish computers? Probably. Don't worry, friends. Excellent. Gives me some aqueducts. No, Pedro. I'm not just going to give you ivory, you piece of shit. I didn't say that out loud. This is just massively fertile. And needs to be settled. Whoever doesn't settle there is a seriously got some issues. Thank God that was annoying. I'm gonna have to go full settlers after this. more like it. Getting the Colossus is a great deal because people will come send trade routes to you. Which gives you money.
I should build some horsemen. What I've really got working going to my advantage is that he's cut off. I don't know why the Turks did this, why they built so far to the north and not right here. This AI is just it's this is the great thing about this game, you know, one of the ultimately the the most awesome things about this game is that it's multiplayer. And it is so fun to play multiplayer in this game. In fact, we play frequently multiplayer, our friends. I'm going full on settler, dude. I'm going to try and settle in the desert right here. And to collect all these goods. And on this river. fortify my defenses pretty soon because I'm kind of aggressively settling. If I settle right here, that's like tantamount to a de declaration of war. Right here, huh? Yeah, I need roads. Suleiman. All right. I shan't be invading the Turks. Purchasing caravans. Trade routes are a huge way to make money in this game. And if you make gold, you can buy any unit. I found, I think gold pretty much is the most versatile. It's weird because you can re, you can mine gold, but then you collect, I guess it's just money. It's more currency than gold, even though it looks like a little golden coin. That's an aggressive settle, but I'm doing it. Sure. Open borders. Watch this. Watch this greedy maneuver. I kind of love doing that to my friends when we play multiplayer. Military. The city is <laughs> desert, pure desert.
Dude, I need more workers, no joke. Technically, I could get a horse, man. Yeah, sorry about that. Religion shall be formed. I know I told that guy I would not aggressively do what I just did. Oops. Throw some walls up. Hanging gardens of Babylon. Oh god, I think I'm gonna have to go with the compass. No. No, I'm gonna have to go with education. Education. The narrator says it really weird. Education. Question is can I get these fucking gardens before someone else does? No one knows. Here we go. Hello, Antwerp. 
let's be trading partners. You can automate, and it makes the game a lot easier, but a lot of times you're missing out on... Uh, getting it so like... What can I do here? Aesthetics is great. If you automate, they don't. The computer doesn't always do the best thing. That's the problem. But they'll do something. <laughs> 